Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Are you looking to learn how to make and put together a beautiful forever dahlia and ranuncular wedding bouquet? Well I am here to help. I've got all of my forever more dahlias all laid out in front of me and what I'm still noticing is White, cream and blush are still very, very popular colours. And I did a bouquet not so long ago for a girl and she was wearing navy. And I must just say, these two colours together were stunning. Now you're probably thinking, now hold on a minute Esther. We've got dahlias and we've got ranunculus. Dahlias are the great aunts or the maiden aunts of an autumn garden or late summer. And ranunculus, they come in the spring. Well, do you know what? I don't care what goes with what, because if you like it, then you should have what your heart desires. Let me show you how easy it is to work. So I've got three, pretty much three of everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've got four dahlias. And you might not need that many. And also, when it comes to sizes, just be a little bit cautious that you don't do something that is that overpowering and swamping that you can't see that beautiful frock that costs an arm and a leg. So just be thinking about that. Okay, to begin, I'm gonna start off with three of these beautiful white dahlias. I've got a spray dahlia that I'm now going to use. And I'm just gonna bring that into there like so. So one over there and one over to that side. Now I'm doing what I call a hand held pose, which means that the stems of your flowers become your handle. So don't make it too big and clunky by, and that will happen if you cross these over. So try and keep them nice and straight. The next to go in are these lovely, blushy, buttery, creamy, oh, gorgeous. So I've got three of those. One can go there, one can go there, and the other one can go there. Look at that. Just, and that's equal distance, like a triangle that I always go on about. Equal distance between each of those three flowers. That needs to come over just a wee bit, but that's okay. The next to go in are, the, so we've got the bigger form there. Beside that, I'll bring in, oops, I'll go this way. Beside that, I'll bring in the slightly smaller with the little bud. So I'll put that onto that side, and that can go around and into that side. So we make, we're just forming this really lovely roundy bouquet. If you're ever stuck and you decide, oh, I just want a round posy, stick with round flowers and you won't get lost. Okay, I've got three of these little pom-pom dahlias. I'm gonna do the same with those equal distance, one to there, one across to there, and one and around and into there. Oh, look at that, how beautiful is that? Now, let's bring in, the reason I wanted to use these little ranunculus is when you see the colour in the dahlias, these are also reflected through and the colours through and into the dahlias. And these little dahlias here have got the slightest, slightest little bit of pinkiness on them, which is going to match in perfectly with those. Now, it's just a matter of, just let your hand just sort of like relax your hand a bit so that you can get your lovely little round uh, ranunculus into it. So I'm going to put one over to there, bring the other one up and over to there. So I'm just releasing my hand ever so slightly so that I can get them into there. And just give that just like a little loosen up. So I've got one there, one there, one there, and I'm going to bring the other one down and into there. Now if these need to just come out and be pulled out a wee bit, just do that. And then the other little tip is if all of your stems are round about the same length before you start, it's just a matter of knocking those down like that. And because they're forever more, it won't matter. Now to finish off your bouquet, I like to use a leaf. Now, the other, because these are going to be your finishing off, make sure that your leaves are nice and pristine and not marked like that. So that when they go around the back or around the base of your bouquet, they form this lovely collar. So when you look at that there, see that, look at that down there, you've got all this like, oh, messy, messy, messy leaves. By just bringing in that leaf, look at that does, that just cleans that whole thing up and it gives it a nice support structure in which to be supported. Now, I don't know where my, oh, here it is. 
To finish it off, I like to use a cable tie. Cable ties are great. You can take them right up to the top. And when you bring that around like so, I think you guys call them, the, in America, they're called snap locks. So that just goes around there. Now there's lots and lots of ways that you can finish off your handles. Go and have a look in at my YouTube channel, um, through this channel, and you'll see how to finish off bouquets. If these are a little bit too tight, just get your hands in there because you can do that because they fit even more flowers. I love it. And if you've got fresh, a few fresh in your garden, you could just add those as well. You can put roses in, you could do whatever you like into this. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have enjoyed sharing it with you, and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Bye for now.